Hey, welcome back. I just wanted to make a quick video on my honeycomb pins that I had made, um, that I had mentioned in a video earlier. Um, I think it's in the video on how I made $1,700 my first month with one product with my Glowforge. Um, a lot of people have been asking me, um, how do they download the honeycomb pins? Where can they get them? And uh, in the past, I was just uh, gave them my email link and I would email them but I made an easier way to do it I create a website you can go to laser engraving business.com and go to the free download tab and uh, you can download the honeycomb pins from there and uh, later in this video I'll show you how to cut them and how to use them but um, so let's look at the website. So here we go, laserengravingbusiness.com. And I just made this website real quick. I, I'm, I do plan on adding a lot more information to it. But if you click up here to the free downloads section, and uh, you'll see here it says honeycomb pins. And uh, you can click on that and it'll be a PDF file. So um, let's see, let's look at my laptop here and uh, we will click on it from here. So let's download it. See, you can save it as a PDF. I already have it saved on my computer. Um, so I go to the Glowforge app, I click on upload from file and then this will be the file that I get. It's called Honeycomb Pins. And uh, so I need to go to the Glowforge and load up the material. And I just use the medium draft board proof grade that Glowforge sent when I purchased the machine. And I will be using my switch bot that I made a video on last week. If you want to check that out, it switch bot allows me to press the blue magic button without leaving my desk. So, okay, so we have the material loaded into the Glowforge, and the file is loaded into the Glowforge app. And let's position. Well, we want it so when you when you upload it you'll have the uh the credits and the words um i normally just set that to ignore so you click on it click ignore and uh my glowforge already picked up that it is a medium draft board and uh the honeycomb pins are set to cut I always click set focus I'm gonna set focus right on top of those honeycomb pins. So we're focusing right now.
I'm, I click print, scanning the document. Okay, one minute and 44 seconds. And like I said, I'm going to press the button from my phone. So click on the SwitchPod app on my phone. And it's cranked up. show you what they look like when they're done and how to use them. Stay tuned. Alright guys, they're finished printing for whatever reason. They didn't cut all the way through. So I'll need to figure that out. Um, I don't know, maybe I need to clean my uh, my fans and my lenses. But uh, instead of wasting more and uh, instead of wasting time on the video, I'm just gonna show you some completed ones that I've printed in the past. And uh, so this is what they look like when they're printed, cut out. And I'll show you how to use them. Yeah, it looks like it got close to going all the way through, but like I said, it may be something as simple as uh, it needs to be clean. But so these pins, they kind of have a little uh, spring type effect to them. And all you're going to do is place them inside one of the holes of a honeycomb. And when you push down, it creates some friction so it doesn't pull back up very easily. And that will help keep the boards that are warped, help keep them down. I normally put one on each corner and uh, it does a pretty good job. Let's see if I have a board that would need it here. see how this board is warped so I would put one on each corner okay two for me to see back there it's kind of dark right there okay so we have all four in so just going to push them all down and now the board is 
flat and flush. All right, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like this video, and uh, let me know if you have any questions.